you probably wouldn't be opposed to having some extra help around the house, but how would you feel about a robot taking on your chores? I want to introduce you to Neo. This is the latest creation by a tech company, 1X. It's billed as the world's first consumer-ready robot designed to transform life at home. Oh, making coffee. The company says Neo can complete the tasks you see there, opening doors, folding laundry, tidying spaces. And I'll reiterate, making your coffee. <laughs> it's available now for pre-order. Uh, here for more is Jacob Ward, tech journalist and host of the Rip Current podcast. I'm in immediate need, apparently, of a cup of coffee. Uh, well, how big of a deal is the arrival of a consumer-ready robot like this? And do you think that people would utilize this, welcome it into their home? I mean, it's absolutely a revolution in terms of what a robot can do. I was once sure. the editor-in-chief of Popular Science back uh, before 2013. And back then, you know, just a single digit of a robot's hand would cost what the sticker price of this thing is going to be, which is about $20,000. Forever, right, our robots have been ones that have been specifically committed to a very single task, right? Grabbing one piece and putting it into a car chassis. And that's because we haven't been able to build robots at an affordable price that could do something like deal with a, you know, a rack full of clothes or deal with the coffee that you want so much, Kana. And so this idea that you for $20,000 can pull that off is kind of incredible. On the other hand, right, 20,000 bucks is quite a lot to pay up front for something like this. And the company says that it's going to need human operators to teach certain tasks to the robot remotely, because it's not always going to know your coffee maker or how to get a, a few dishes into your dishwasher, Kana. Oh, the specifics of your house. But in terms of cost and ability, let's look five, ten years down the road. I mean, how quickly is this thing going to go? How low could the price drop? And do you see this as something common in households? Well, I think the big thing to think about here, right, is that as we think right now about AI, which is what I spend so much of my time thinking around, you know, we've been talking about the threat to jobs when it comes to knowledge work, right? And we've thought, well, but being yeah. a barber or being a plumber, that job is safe. Well, I would just point out, this thing is evidence that all sorts of automation is coming for all sorts of work. And so on the one hand, I think this could be really good. We're in a, a position where we're going to need an incredible amount of help at home. Uh, boomers are about to become the absolutely uh, number one one uh, category of population as they get older, we don't have the help they're going to need. Is this going to stand in for that? Not really clear. But what we're seeing here, of course, is that the price of an actual robot that can come in and manipulate things in such a way that they could conceivably replace a human worker, that's all been science fiction in the past, but that's becoming real now, Kama. Right. It's a good point there how this could look for someone like a nurse or a caretaker or people in need of those folks. Uh, Jake Ward, it's always wonderful to have you on. Thank you for being here with us. Appreciate it.